back Pinterest stock technicals to watch from here. So if you are new to the channel, thank you. Uh, and I really appreciate all of you guys who have subscribed. But this channel is not about like um, all the good things, right? So I will tell you everything. Ugly truth, if I am bearish, if I have a position, if I don't have a position, I'll tell everything. And I'm very straightforward. And so if you like it, well, that's great because at the end of the day, I'm a trader, all right? I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. Even though I cover these stocks every day, I do it first of all for myself because I am up to date. I do a lot of research and afterwards um, I can keep an eye on those stocks that I'm covering, what's going on and maybe trade in the future. I'm improving myself at the end of the day. And these videos sort of a commitment for me to stay up to date and to keep improving my trading. So thanks. Uh, so that's all about I wanted to say, but let's take a look at Pinterest. So I have been trading for five years, all right? And even for me, by looking at this chart, I mean, I can imagine how hard it would be to personally to own the stock like in my portfolio. So this is a yearly chart. Every single candle here represents one day of price action. So this is the beginning of the year. So that's where it opened somewhere around 65. All right. Goes up to 90, comes right back down to 65. Goes up to 80, comes right back down to 55 goes back up to around 80 slashes back down to 55 and then for three months is straight every day you wake up basically it's down trending and then you see this huge pop and then huge drop like it would be very very difficult even for me even though i have seen so much price action so much unpredictable stuff like I, I don't want to own something like this, all right? I don't care what other YouTubers are saying. I have used this platform maybe uh, earlier than like 90% of you guys who are watching because I have a car YouTube channel where uh, I had all I had to reserve all the accounts, social media accounts, and I have used Pinterest probably like the moment they came out pretty much. And I know this business as a user and I know this stock since they went public. So that's that. Well, now let's talk about technicals, what I'm watching here. So imagine the, so once we figured out, imagine the uh, people, what people are feeling who have traded this stock or who may be holding this stock at all those levels. From all time highs, at this point, stock is down exactly 50%. 50%. Crazy. So, and now, uh, well, for the past month or so, just like with Snapchat's chart, I was watching this range of uh, 49 and 44. So, if this stock slips below 44, it's going much lower. All right. And I don't care how you guys comment react to that uh, you can call me delusional whatever but look at the chart so if that level slips it's going right back down to these 38 35 levels that's the zone i'm watching as a support all right and we can take a look at it on a weekly chart even if you look at it on a weekly chart i mean it's hard to deal with this look at this monthly chart basically for the year, how many months is? So we have only December left. It was positive for three months and downtrending. For me to this stock to basically reverse or for me to be some sort of a uh, bullish uh, swing trader, even though I have covered this name many, many times, at times I was bullish, of course, but I don't like this one late year I mean 2020 I don't like how this stock is trading and um, for me to basically for this stock to break out I'm watching this downtrend so it needs to get outside of this trend for me to 
even consider this stock as a bullish trade. All right. So what else I can show here? Well, maybe I can show if you are someone who trades, swing trades, maybe volume, um, basically volume profile. All right. Um, and if you look at it as well, well, we don't have much of a support here if this stock slips below these 40, 44, 43, 50 levels. So most of the volume occurred here at 70s. And that's crazy that so many people have average price over 70 for the stock. Uh, company valuation. I think it's about $30 billion right now. Uh, what about the MACD? Uh, what about the moving averages? MACD still below zero line. There's no indication that it's about to uptrend here. Um, if you look at the moving averages as well, all of the moving averages are downtrending. 200 day red line right here. Purple is 100 day. Re uh, yellow line is a 50 day. And this blue line is a 20 day. So for me, the rule of thumb to go long any stock, doesn't matter what company does, doesn't matter what their fundamentals are, if the moving average is uptrending, that's when I consider to buy a dip. When stock is downtrending and, it, and its moving averages are downtrending, that's not a dip. All right, for me personally, buy the dip, buy the dip. I, I just like, I'm not going to highlight anybody, but I, I hate that there's so many people out there that just like, <laughs> they, they, they have all in their head is just buy the dip, buy the dip. I mean, come on, like, look, look at the chart. What do you like about this one? I understand if it if chart was looking like Microsoft or look at look at this chart like you want clean chart you don't have to be good at fundamentals look at the chart it will tell you the story look at AMD look at Nvidia Apple all those good stocks that are doing very very well well their fundamentals doing well all right so you don't have to be uh, someone who is good with um, accounting and all the all the profitability revenue calculating all that stuff uh, no you can just look at the chart and just tell the story and it's not difficult so that's what I'm watching little bit of a too much rumbling uh, from my side but that's the technicals a little bit different so maybe once I get a camera, we can talk about, we don't have to look at the chart as much, but I will be definitely having a set, set up soon. But for now, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.